2K Sports. All about the American League, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, part of our broadcast for this game. Thank you for joining us, Major League Baseball, presented by 2K Sports Thursday afternoon game. Over 45,000, a quick look. Starting will be Jerome Williams. Steve, what's he got in his mind now as he takes a look at Oakland today? Well, this is a lineup that at times does struggle to score runs, but this is a pitcher, the right-hander on the mound, that they can have some some success again. So it's going to be interesting to see if they're able to put the ball in play and take advantage of opportunities. So who are you looking at, John? Well, just like his brother, Ricky, Jamal Weeks can make a lot of things happen with a bat in his hand. Not going to take you deep and hurt you with the power ball, but what he can do is put the ball in play, use his speed, and create a lot of havoc on the base pass. Henderson tries to do some damage now. He'll be starting us off in this game for 2K Sports. Fielder, number 35, Ricky Henderson. Here's the pitch. Swung on and fouled away. Foul! Valley tries to pull back. Home plate umpire says he did. They want to challenge that, though. No swing is the call on the appeal. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss on that fastball, and it's 1-2. and two. The 1-2 pitch. Swung on and a ground at a first. We've got a chance to check out the Angels. Let's see where they're positioning themselves on defense. And uh, John, any scouting picks? Well, the manager loves to be able to mix and match. And when you have players who can only play one position, sometimes you can get in some trouble with injuries. Alberto Cayaspo, though, gives you a lot of different options. He can play second. He can play third. He can play short. He can even play first base. And I'm sure if you ask him, hey, he'll play the outfield, too. He can play all four positions as equally as well. And that's a key because a lot of times you lose something when you move a guy so much. He is an asset. Here it comes. Ball one. And Murphy watches that one outside. The career average, 275 off the Angels. At the belt, the 1 0. Fastball oh, just misses, and he falls behind 2 0. Slider bends in for the strike, two and one. There he goes towards second. All three. And he is safe at second. No, he gets a real nice lead off right here and slides in to beat the throw. With that great speed, you just can't let him get that far off base. Had no chance on that one. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. Here throw is go. there, and he is out. For the Oakland Athletic, fielder, for 11. And Armas in the batter's box. Well, last season, the Angels were a solid ball club here at the Big A. Didn't translate into a playoff appearance, but they definitely were comfortable at home. And on second, one away. Here's the delivery. Ball. That one's low and away. Ball one. Regarding that home record, Steve, is actually the best of any non- playoff team in the American League. And, and really the key there was pitching. A team ERA just over three in 2011. They didn't make the playoff, but it wasn't because of the pitching. Oh! And this is bounced foul to the left side. 
Doe takes off for third. And he's in there at third. Now he got a huge lead off second base here, and that was the key. Got in easily. Even the third baseman knew that that was going to be a stolen base before the pitch was thrown. Here's the 2 1. And Seth Smith swings and misses at that. That's going to even up the count. Well, that change up down of the way is so tough. It's really one of those ones. All you can do is spoil it and hope to get the next one. He's ready. 2 2 on the way. He fouls that one off. And he fouls another one off. Well, anytime you have two oh. strikes, if you look at the pitch coming out of the pitcher's hand and you think it's going to be a borderline pitch, you better swing. You don't leave it in the hands of the umpire. Take your chances. And that's what he did. He fouled it off. Now he's going to see another one. The 3-2 pitch. Back up the middle. Rich. That's one. Now, less than two outs, this is what you want to do. Think about the middle of the field. Make contact, force him to make a play and pick up an RBI. And the cleanup man stands in. Well, they've done themselves quite a job here. This is a nice push at this point of the ball game to get out in front. Well, we all knew the possibility of getting some early runs up early could happen here. That was possible. This could turn out to be a very interesting game, guys. And that's too low, 1-0. And, oh. and guys, it'll be interesting to see how the rest of this inning plays out. Sometimes not easy to contain a lineup once it gets started. It's infectious. Well, you're right, it does. It kind of feeds on each other, Gary. And I think that, that you know, it looks like from a fan's perspective, you got to love this game. A high-scoring game is what they like. Swung on, missed by Carter with that strike down to zero. This one's grounded near third. Foul. Oh. And that's another foul ball. The one-two on its way. Curve ball that tied him up in knots. Swung on and missed. Side retired. Well, some early production here. One run across in the first. The A's on top. One to nothing. Dallas Braden is going to be pitching. He's starting for a Steve will be watching how he approaches this Angels lineup. This lineup has to come into this situation with some confidence right now. A pitcher with nothing overpowering, who they know if he throws it over the plate, they can do some damage. So force him to throw strikes. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. He's out at first base. Nice play on the cover. Uh, that's a well-executed play right there, Gary. He hustled over, got the first base, touched the bag. Thought he might have had a strike out there, but he's involved in the out anyway. Lansford at the plate. Well, you got to love the in-state rivalries. Northern California, Southern California, A's and Angels. Listen, these two teams squared off a lot of good baseball games. Watch that fastball go by. Adding to what Steve was talking about, the A's and Angels. The A's able to take that season series 11 to 8. At least a little bright light, John, for them in that regard. Yeah, both teams were in the middle of the pack in, in the West, and the Angels made a charge at Texas late, but the A's may have had some satisfaction keeping the Angels from getting the wild card. The last one just got away from me. Now that unwanted base runner. Well, sometimes the fastball just gets on you and you can't get out of the way, no matter how ready you are for the pitch. He couldn't get out of the way there. One away. Here's Vernon Wells. Well, a change of scenery was not what the doctor had ordered for Vernon Wells. Change into an Angels hat and had a dismal year. That's on that off-speed pitch, but can't connect 0-1. 
Those numbers for Wells, a career low 218 batting average, John. Yeah, he's not going to be that big home run guy anymore either, and that's the problem that the Angels are going to have. I still think he's a lot better hitter than what he showed in 2011. Hopefully 2012, he can drive in a lot more runs. The pitch. Well, right maybe he needs a little vision clarity here. That one he went after, and it was clearly in the dirt. Keep an eye on Vernon Wells. I mean, here's a guy that can take you deep. He needs to do it a little more consistently, though. He has prolonged droughts uh, offensively that keep his numbers down to where they should be. He'll either have a really great year or a poor year. Needs to be more consistent. When he does, he's a 30-homer guy. He can still steal a base and play great defense. Chris Lionetta at the plate. Two outs and a man on first. Fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Now's the time he goes to the slider. This guy struggles in this situation. It's a good pitch for him. Pitch on the way. And strike two. Braden has him right where he wants him. At 0-2, you're in complete control right now. So I'm throwing him something out of the strike zone to see if I can get him to chase. And he lays off that one outside, one and two. Well, that pitch right there, that change up away. If a guy's looking for it, that's a great pitch to be able to hit the other way with some power. The one-two pitch. And he leaves that one alone. And that shows patience. That'll even up the count. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And the throws in time at first. Mercy, what a play. Braden, wow, shut him down. He beans one batter, but got his focus back, didn't give anything up. And the Athletics coming up next. In the box now, number five spot. He's going to get us started, second inning. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. Foul. And another foul ball. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. Miller to field this one. He's taking charge, puts it away. Third base. Wayne Rose. And Gross is batting. You know, the Oakland A's at least fared well in the AL West, which gives them hope as they move forward. 2011 wasn't completely a bust. Fastball just misses. 1-0. And as Steve said, uh, look, you got to win in your division. The A's against the West, 26 wins, 57 games. It's not outstanding, but it's something to work with, John. Yeah, they did well against the Mariners and Angels, and they would have had a win. Swing liner back up the middle. And that gets down. Gross with a single. So Kurt Suzuki will come up. Well, he waited for that one to get deep in the zone, and he put a good swing on it. Now with one out, let's see if they try to move him along. Well, Kurt Suzuki doing what he always does last year. You would have hoped to get back to hitting in the 270 range, but was going to contribute to the team with 14 homers from his catcher position. The OO delivery of fastball taken for a strike. Suzuki's work behind the plate really is what's most valuable to the team, and if he can get that bat going just a little bit more, 
will be a real contribution. Oh. Yeah, that 237 batting average in 2011 down a little bit, not as productive as we've seen. A very versatile guy, can hit anywhere in the lineup, but the key for him, a quality defensive catcher. A swing line to left center. Makes its way through for a single. Coming Oakland back. in a we nice position here to capitalize. Number 19. But what an absolutely great job of hitting right there. That pitch down and in, bearing in on him. And he fought it off to get that big base hit. One out with runners at first and second. He delivers. Oh! That one goes foul. Here's the delivery. And with two strikes on him, now in, she'll protect the strike zone. Let's take a look here at how he's been mixing up his pitches so far in this game. Well, you know, guys, he's definitely leaning towards that slider a little more than he usually does. Well, you know, guys, in looking at everything he's been throwing, the thing I notice is how few times he's gone to the changeup. Not sure if he's not feeling confident with it, if the grip's not right, but he needs to use his off-speed stuff. One two pitch coming. The inch isn't fooled by that pitch. The count is evened up. He tries to get this ball to come back over the plate with that two seamer, but it's dangerous throwing it high. You want to throw it down and away, not up and away. And this is popped up on the left side. No problem with that one. He's got a shot of getting out of this now. Big time out. He's got two down. He's only one out away from working out of this jam. So Jamal Weeks will try and keep it going. Boy, that one is stung up the middle. And that gets through for a base hit. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Right fielder. Well, now he's coming up to play with the bases loaded. You see that single right there, Gary. Loads up the bases, and he's got to make this pitcher work. A lot of pressure now on the pitching. He's got to look for a pitch to drive. Henderson tries to do some damage now. And when you got the bases loaded like this, this is the opportunity you look for in a game. It may not come again. Well, when you have a lead, you want to keep adding to it. A big opportunity here to spread the margin. And the first pitch. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. And he takes a strike on that fastball. 1-1. One, one. It's a nice location with that fastball down in the zone. If he makes contact, it's going to be a ground ball. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air to center field. And that's the third out. That'll do it. Well, they load the bases on the strength of three base hits, but no run. Athletics won. The Angels nothing. Inside Angel Stadium here in Anaheim. Not so much ocean breeze as we might like to see. It's a warm day. And Torrey Hunter. He sends this one in the air towards center. And in there, at least for a single as it gets down. That will bring up Kendry Morrell. Well, that's the start this team needed. Get that first guy in the inning up, get him on base, and let's see if they can bring him around to score. First pitch, misses the fastball, 0-1. He has that little running action on that two-seam fastball that busts in on the hands of the hitter. It's a tough pitch. Now they have a chance to go to the outer part of the plate. And strike two. Braden has him right where he wants him. But Gary, now that he's ahead in the count, it's probably a good time to go to the changeup. Oh! 
ball. Cutter thought he had him, but it's one and two. Pitch on the way. Line drive fouled oh. off towards first. Oh. Good patience as Kendry Morales lets that one go by for a ball. Count is even. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Gets one at second. And they get two. Great double play. But Gary, we talk a lot about how important defense is to a team's success. That's living proof right there. And you keep this one in mind because it's an inning offensively that didn't happen. It's going to be Gritch. 273, the lifetime number off the A's. Swung on, a fly ball down the left field line. And that's out number three. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. Athletics holding on to the lead. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Coco Crisp to bat. First pitch, a changeup outside, 1-0. and Now, uh, let's take a moment to see how this pitcher has been mixing up his pitches. John, Steve, what do you think about how he's done? Well, I'm not sure why, but he hasn't thrown to that low and away corner as often as he has in his other games. Oh, yeah. 1-0 on the way. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away, 2-0. a ball and Chris now see if he hacks 3-0 here's the delivery three balls one strike Chris if it's his he'll be going He's got to come back with something right here. Doesn't want to put him on base. And it's fouled off. Hit on the ground. Rich. Oh, One away now for the open A well hit yes, ball to second base for you. He easily takes oh, care of his ball, throws it over. This guy makes it look easy. And Armas in the batter's box. Of course, as a pitcher, you've got to keep your eye on which pitches are effective on any given day and which ones aren't. Here's a look at which pitches he's thrown that have generated hits. Well, guys, you look at that four-seamer. It's been hit two times. Well, John, that's the one pitch that they've been able to see coming out of his hand. It's just the third inning. So far, he's been fantastic out there, the way he's mixed those pitches up overall. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. Well, the hitter just missed this one. He's going to want to have this one back. The left fielder able to range back and put it away. Clean up man in the box again. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. First pitch to him. 
smacked that one. He got it right up the middle. He'll throw one to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. And we'll see the Angels. Another chance for the leadoff hitter coming up in the inning. Curveball for a strike. Well, that kind of break on the curveball in that kind of location, it can lead to success. That was a good pitch right there. Here's the pitch. Ball. Mark Trumbo lets it go by. It's a ball. Count is even. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch is a circle change. That hits the target. One and two. This is why changing speeds is so important for a pitcher. You get the hitter off balance even more effective when it's down in the zone. Ball. Mark Trumbo lets it go by. It's a ball. Count is even. At 2-2, two, two, he's just looking to spoil. He's going to be defensive, but he's going up there hacking. Let's see if he can get him to chase the pitch out of the zone. That misses below the knees. That'll run us to the full 3-2 count. Well, a lot of guys would swing at that pitch right there, that change up down in the strike zone, but the hitter luckily stayed off that one. That misses ball four. The potential tying run on the base. Well, the hardest thing to do when you have an at-bat that lasts this long is sometimes you have a tendency to be impatient and chase one. Give the hitter a lot of credit. It was a close pitch, but he laid off of it to earn that walk. And that'll bring up Eric Ibar. Oh, Gary, that walk right there is the tying run in this game. That's not how you want to make the opposition do it. Make them earn it. The pitch. That's on the outside corner for a strike. Stevie knows he's really got a pitch now. He's put himself in a situation where he's really bought pressure on himself. Uh, you know, these are the type of innings you get really big on you right here. It's about damage control. I know you put the tying run on, but you've got a bear oh. down right here. And he leaves that one alone. Eric Ibar is showing patience there and an even count. Good running movement on that pitch. In on the hands for the hitter. He laid off but couldn't do anything with it anyways. Comes set now the 1-1. 1-1 one -one. One pitch is a cut fastball taken for a strike. One and two. Look, Gary, he's got such an effective fastball. He likes to use it. And, you know, one-two count. He doesn't like to mess around. Look for him to go right at him with the heater. It's fouled off. Foul! Oh! Come on, Eric! That swung on and flied to right. One away. Runner on first now for Number Albert Pujols. Well, the deeper you go into the Pujols' career, the more impressive the totals get. He'll have a chance at several lifetime records, and at this point, might be one of the best hitters ever to play the game. The first pitch. That's him off with a cut fastball inside. 1 0. John certainly uh, looking at Pujols' numbers, at least among uh, all first basemen has ever played. He's on a very short list of being the best. Yeah, other, other hitters have a claim to that, but from this consistency standpoint of Albert Pujols, the fact that he's still a relatively young early 30s, I think by the end he's going to be the best hitting first baseman ever. And that swung on, put in play. Murphy's going to field it. Two down. At the plate for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Third base. Number two. Lansford up now. Hardy. What's he doing to start these hitters out? Let's take a look at how he's beginning. Oh, we tell pitchers all the time, work ahead in the count. It changes the at-bat and proof here. 0-1 count. He's got five guys out today. A runner on first with two outs. The pitch. 
Cutter just misses. One and all. Delivery is a fastball in there. One on one. Right and there's a called strike at the letters, and it's one and two. The one two on its way. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. Hitters trying to stare him down because they're not hitting anything off Brayton. He has a shutout through three innings of work. And the Athletics coming up next. And the first baseman in. We'll start things off here, inning number four. And the first pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. Miller to field this one. Rounds over, puts it away. And Gross is batting. He singled his last trip. And here's the pitch. The curve is just a little bit outside. One ball, no strikes. Here's the 1 0. Change up low, 2 0. This one's over at the knee level, 2 and 1. Ball and it's suddenly three and one. Three Fastball two. is in there now. Three two. Now the three two pitch. Oh. Refuses to go after it. Missed ball four. But you know the pitchers really tired right now and you have to think that his confidence is a little bit shaken that long at bat right there he had a chance to put the hitter away and now he has to go from the stretch to try to keep this inning from getting out of hand so Kurt Suzuki will come up he's one for one so far and here's the first one and this is bounced foul to the left side Here's the pitch. Strike, Strike two. two. Now no balls, two strikes. Kurt Suzuki doesn't want a K here. The hitter needs a two-strike approach. Shorten up the swing. Think about going the other way. Ball oh, one. tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. Towards the middle. He plays it on the hop. That's one out. Not a lot of action in this half inning. Nothing on. Athletics won. The Angels nothing. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Miller, John Crunk, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And it's Vernon Wells at the plate. And Murphy's going to play it. Didn't have a problem getting over there in time. Chris Ionetta at the plate. And a moment here to see how this pitcher has been mixing up his pitches. Well, look, I know he's comfortable throwing that 12-6 curveball, but to me, he's using a little bit too much in this one. You know, John, you're right. The pitch I'd like to see him utilize more is the two-seam fastball. Get some movement on it and try to get it off the center of the bat. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0-1. Okay, they just have not been able to mount any offense here today. I mean, one hit into the fourth inning, and 
And obviously they haven't scored any runs, so they're going to have to change their approach at the plate. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a strike. Chris Iannetta now with a defensive stance behind. Look for him to try to fool the hitter. Pull the string a little bit here. He likes going to the changeup 0-2. It's one and two now. Well, it's uh, truly been a tremendous day on the mound for this man. Here's a breakdown of how he's been mixing up his locations, using that to his advantage. I think he's been in pretty good command in this one. He clearly is hitting his target, if not all the time, at least the majority of the time. Now, John, if I'm the pitching coach, I'm going to emphasize just stick with the plan. The plan seems to be working. Lined foul oh. towards third. Swing and a line drive. That should be a base hit. And that's going to bring Torrey Hunter to the plate. It's nice to get that runner on base with one out. Good piece of hit in that single. Now they got something to work with. But it's hard to think that Torrey Hunter was allowed to just walk away from the Minnesota Twins a few years ago to sign with the Angels. And you look at what he's done since, I think he's proven them wrong. Here's the first pitch. That's at the knees for a called strike. There are some players whose uh, just innate abilities seem to keep shining on and Torrey Hunter, as the years go by, is proving to be one of those players. Well, such a consistent player, right? I mean, great defensively, but offensively, the power is always there. Since 2001, he's out. Swing and a high chopper towards the hole. Up with it now. Throw to first, gets him in there, two down. I thought they had a shot at a double play right there, but at least they got one out. And now Hunter is going to position the second day. We'll see Kendry Morales, man at second. He hit into a double play his last time. Misses. One and oh. Good movement on the cut fastball there. Just couldn't quite catch the bottom corner of the strike zone. Good eye at the plate. He deals. Oh. That's off the plate inside, and it's two and oh. into that cutter called strike two and one he throws that cut fastball up and into the hitter kind of surprised him he couldn't offer at it now the two one pitch oh my is he wild right now that could be trouble so they can't make the play but there's an error right there you just don't want to do that it's just not good baseball and that one misses. That's going to be ball four. Toss the bat aside. Get down to first. Now some control issues right now for the pitcher. He's got to get locked in and back in the zone. It's going to be Gritch. Well, two outs in the inning. You don't want to give a free pass. Make them earn it. As long as you keep it in the ballpark, it doesn't hurt you. But that walk can come back to haunt you. Two men on, two men up. First pitch on the way. Cutter misses badly. I don't know. And with the walk surrendered as it was in the inning, you got to keep your composure now, not give in here. Well, he certainly doesn't want to give up an extra base hit right now to allow that run to score, so the defense has got to be playing no double. There's a swing and a smash. And Murphy's going to play it. And that's out number three. So Dallas Brayton heads to the dugout. He keeps the shutout going to four. He's got some run support as well. We'll head to the fifth in Anaheim. And Brandon Inge at the plate. Here's the 
Here's the first pitch. Ball. Fastball too low. What a no. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. The pitch. Strike and in swings and misses at that one. That evens up the count. Well, you see that pitch coming in, and it starts at the center of the plate. And all of a sudden, as soon as you start your swing, that's when that slider starts breaking away. Gets out of the strike zone away. He can't stop his swing and swings and misses. Swing and a bouncing ball up the middle. And his throw is in time. First out of the inning. Gary, that's a nice play right there on the mound. Able to grab it and then toss it over easily to first base for the out. And it's Jamal Weeks at the plate with one down. You know, it's always difficult to replace a fan favorite, but that's what Jamil Weeks was up against last season when the A's moved Mark Ballas in order to give him a chance to show he could play. Now the first pitch. Line drive. That's foul towards first. Four weeks. He uh, kind of made it easier for A's fans when he showed up. He showed that he belonged in the majors. Ground ball towards the second baseman. Rich. And that's in plenty of time for the out. Oakland Athletic. Right fielder, number 35, Ricky Henderson. Henderson tries to do some damage now. One for two in the ballgame. off the called strike of the knees 0 and 1. His great bite on this slider throwing it down and into the hitter gets away with one and he gets in for the strike. Here it comes. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And it gets down. That's hit number two yeah, making good contact. Well, Probably thinking play. about the matchups yeah, here as we check the bullpen left handers throwing. Oh that's right. I think they're getting him loosened up the base the hitter in the on deck circle. That'll bring Coco Chris to the plate. He bounced out his last time. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and popped way up high. And that's going to do it in this half inning. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. And we'll see the aim. Trumbo to lead it up. Let's go. Number three. Here we go. Rick Miller. Rick High speed pitches in there for a college strike. Well, the reports indicate he does not like the breaking ball early in the count. Let's see if they get him to try to chase it. Swing a little line drive towards the middle. That's one away. Throw him on away, it'll be Eric Ibar. He flew out his last time up. Here's the first pitch. That's him out with a cut fastball for a strike. Throws that cut fastball up and into the hitter. Kind of surprised him. He couldn't offer at it. And strike two. Braden has him right where he wants him. They go with the cut fastball, the inside part of the plate. Now they could go back to back there again or go to the outside corner. They can go either way. Come on, Halo. Ball. Oh, that runs too far inside. One and two. A front door two seam fastball trying to throw it inside, letting it tail back to the inside corner. Couldn't quite catch the corner though. You're out. Strike three. Eric Ibar goes down without a swing on that pitch. He just reared back and chucked it. Gave him his best fastball right there. Threw it right at the knees. See you later.
And a chance here with two down for Albert Pujols. And in this matchup, lifetime 281 off Oakland. And starts him out here. Oh! Starts him off with a cut fastball inside. 1-0. Oh. Well, he missed with the first pitch, so I'm betting he's going to come back with the fastball right here as he's done in the past. On the way. Grounded up the middle. He dies, and he's got it. Not in time. He is safe and on. So that brings Alberto Cayaspo to the plate. Well, you got to look to see this guy get on base with two outs right here with that base hit. Now, it's up to his teammates to figure out a way to get him across the plate. Struck out swinging last time. Pitch on the way. Fouled off. Foul ball! He delivers. Strike and strike two. Braden has him right where he wants him. Look for the pitcher to try to expand the strike zone here. The hitter has to swing at anything close. Ball swung out and missed, and the sides retired. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand. The Angels still hoping to put something up. Things will start getting a little more difficult. Third man in the lineup coming up. So Seth Smith leading it off. Here's the first one. Ball oh! off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Well, hitters know those two seam fastballs down on the way turn into ground ball out. So they lay off of it, but with two strikes, it's a pitch you have to swing at. The pitch. Right. And he looks at a fastball in there, one and one. Ball just off the black, and it's two and one. Two one pitch, line drive left of the bag and foul. Swings lines this one back up the middle, makes its way through for a single. Now batting. Well, a good piece of hitting right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. Up again there, DH. Grounded out his last time through. First pitch on the way. Strike one. What about dropping one down that time? Missed it. It's a strike. The pitch. Pulled it back. Didn't bunt right there, but it's a strike and it's 0-2. Here's the delivery. One Tries to ring him up with the fastball away, but it's one and two. The one-two pitch. Swing and an easy ground ball to short. He grabs it off the hop. There's one. On the first, safe. Can't get the back end of that one. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. I know they wanted to. Up again now, the number five spot. 0 for 2 thus far. The first pitch. First pitch, fastball, 4 and 1.
Hit sharply towards the hole. Now Oakland in a nice position here to capitalize. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Runners on first and second with one out. Right Best on. ball in there for a called strike. Looks like the hitter's waiting for a pitch that he can get up in the zone to drive a little bit. That's why he went down to the zone with that four-seamer. Right oh, one pitch of fastball, swung out and missed, 0-2. Oh well, clearly the pitcher's in control right here. This guy really struggles on the fastball when he's behind in the count, so look up the middle. And he's up with it. Out. Over to second for one. And a double play. They got a ball. We'll pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. Athletics won. The Angels nothing. Leading it off is Vernon Well. I'm going to take a brief moment here to check out the breakdown on this pitcher's pitch types that have turned into hits today. John, Steve, your thoughts? That one swung on, hit in the air, deep to left field. As he drops back and puts it away. Number 29. Base hit his last time. First pitch to him. There's a hard comebacker right through the center. And the good throw gets him two down. Nice easy ground ball to shortstop. Able to get over, make the play. Good strong throw across the infield to get the runner at first. Well, a chance here for Torrey Hunter. Two down. Ground out victim last time through. the pitch. Whoa. And get him to chase that one outside, ball one. Yeah, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound. The defense has not felt that much pressure either. But only one runner left on base, and, you know, we're moving through the middle part of this ball game, so, you know, they're doing a nice job shutting down this offense. Whoa. Lost the grip on that cutter, and it's a 2-0 count. Hit in the air to left center. And Murphy's going to play it. And that one's put away to retire the side. Now he's bringing it today. He's got control of every one of his pitches, keeping the hitters off balance the entire game. They just can't seem to find any answers. Athletics, they still enjoy this lead. Now up to the plate. Leading it off, Kurt Suzuki. Take a look at this uh, first pitch delivered and see how he's doing. Well, working ahead is paying off for him. He's retired eight hitters in this game after throwing a first pitch strike. As he holds it in. And Brandon Inge at the plate. After a power surge a few years ago in 2009, it's been a rough go for Brandon Inge not being able to supply the power that he once did. And he starts him out. That's a breaking ball. Go outside for ball one. You talk about Brandon Inge. You'd think uh, a move from catcher to the infield maybe would help the hitting a little bit. But that has not been the case. You know, in the past, that sort of transition has helped. Uh, but so many swings and misses and some holes in his approach at the plate. The power still there is a threat. But really, the numbers down actually got sent to the minor leagues at some point in 2011. This is placed perfectly for a base hit. Well, you saw the catcher set up inside for that pitch, and the pitcher delivered it right where he wanted it. Give the hitter a lot of credit, though. He got to it short and quick, and that's why he's on base. Now here is Jamal Weeks. Here's the pitch. Fastball in there, 0-1.
Swing and a softly hit ground to first. He's Got one. one. And two. Double play. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Stretch time here in Anaheim. Just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Clark and Steve Phillips. I'm Gary Thorne. Kendry Morales at the plate now. He's going to get things started off for us here after the seventh inning stretch. Slider just misses 1-0. Oh. Now, Gary, it's tough to score when you only get three hits. We're deep into this ball game, and they have just not been able to mount any pressure against him today. Oh. That one's up and in for ball two. Now a moment here to look at the quality strikes this pitcher's been throwing here today. Boy, he has thrown a ton of them. Quality pitches, quality strikes. That's the kind of performance we're seeing. Just a very solid approach against this lineup. Keeping the ball down in the strike zone. And the numbers show he's doing it well. Well, that's what you have to do to be successful. Keep the ball down in the zone, pitch after pitch. Try to get the hitters to hit the top of the ball. Here he comes. 2-1 pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. It's going to be Gritch. 0 for 2 thus far. And the first pitch. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0 and 1. Well, he threw in the cutter right there, and it looked like he was trying to chase that one. Be patient, young man. It'll get there. The pitch, oh. high for a ball, 1-1. One, one. I'm not sure I like this cut fast ball up in the zone right here. It's a pitch you want to get down in the zone to run off the corners. Don't leave it over the plate. Here's the pitch. Line, foul towards the ball. The 1-2 one, on its way. And that's another foul ball. Oh. And he swings and hits this one foul. Foul ball! You're Strikes out. him out. We have said it more than once today, but he continues to look extremely sharp, Steve. He's so locked in. You, you wonder how long he can keep it going. I haven't seen anybody pitch like this in a long time. And with that right-hander warming up in the bullpen here, I'm not sure quite what they're thinking. Well, with the left-handed hitter on deck, he's probably getting ready for hitters later in the lineup. And now, here's Mark Trumbo. Runner at first with one down. Here's the first pitch. He swings, hits the ball to right field. That's two gone. Uh, Gary, for every pitcher, it's a little bit different. You know, how long they can go into a game. But right now, he still looks pretty strong right now. Two outs in the seventh. I think he's got a chance to shut them down the rest of the way. Into the batter's box slowly. In a big moment comes Eric Ibar. And here's the first one. And he holds up in time on that offering. 1-0. Oh. Ready with a 1-0. Oh. This one's grounded to second. Cox throws on the first side is retired. Well, you want to keep your options open, so as you look at the pen, both the righty and lefty are up. Well, manager's looking ahead at the lineup, making sure that he has all options available to handle this lineup. Now, Gary, he's in absolute control out there right now, and I have to suspect they're going to leave him in as long as he can go, as long as the pitch count doesn't get too high. The Angels still looking for a run. For the Henderson athletic. tries to do some damage now. He's going Number to get us 35, started. Eighth inning. Ricky Henderson. Scott Downs is going to be pitching 
They've decided it was time to make a change here. Well, if you need to get a left-handed hitter out, how about bringing Scott Downs in the game? Here's a guy who had 48 games in 2009, but he only had 46 innings, so that tells you that he's coming in. Swung on, hit. Oh, avoided the path of that ball. That was right up the middle. Was that ever close? Well, just what his team needed. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. And it's Coco Crisp now. He's at an even 200 lifetime against Scott Downs. You've got to keep the opponent close when you're behind. You've got speed on first base. They oh. better keep him close. If he gets in scoring position, it may just add on to this lead. Here's the 1-0. And he looks at a sinker in there, one and one. Well, he's running, taking off for second. And he's in there at second base. They had a great jump right there, great acceleration. They couldn't get him with the throw. That's a great secondary lead that allowed him to get in easily. He deals. Swung on, missed by Crisp. Now does he? Now he likes to swing 2-2. Two -two. He gets that defensive two-strike approach. He's going to try to put it in play. Let's see if he can make a pitcher's pitch. It's fouled off. Foul. And he dives back safely. He's up with it. And they got to him in time to tag him up. Well, ground ball back to the pitcher right there. You want to get the sure out. The runner advances, but you know what? You'll take the out for the runner moving up. And Armas in the batter's box. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Man on third with one away. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. Pauses and now the 1-0. And Seth Smith swings and misses at that. That's going to even up the count. Now just out in front of that sinker and he comes up empty. Here's the pitch. Sinker just off the black, and it's two and one. Two Lays two. off that fastball. It's a called strike, two and two. Smith, he comes up empty with that swing, strike three, he's gone. They've got a second now to see the four-seam fastball and take it. Two straight fastballs he still couldn't catch up with. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K, you know he's throwing gas out there. I love seeing young guys get these opportunities in critical situations in the game. Let's see what Chris Carter can do right now. Bounced into a fielder's choice his last time. The first pitch, swing and miss for strike one. That first pitch is critical. 
fastball in these key at bats. You want to work ahead in the count. That's exactly what the pitcher did there. Good patience, even count. You have two outs here in the inning, only need one more. The last thing you want is a big two out hit, and not get a chance at this guy. Now, but I don't understand this. You've already got two outs in the inning. This guy isn't one of the better hitters in the game. Go at him, challenge him, show something. And the first baseman in. Try it again here. Just one for three thus far. Runners at first stand third with two away. Here's the pitch. That's a called strike on one. He needed to get that first strike in there. Put the hitter on the defensive and now he can be aggressive in the strike zone. Hit sharply towards the hole. Throws the first side as we They pick up no runs on a hit, and they lead two on. Now, Angels, home half of the eighth inning. And so, Albert Pujols leading it off. Had a base hit his last time up. Here's the delivery. Sliders in there, no balls and a strike. Tough to score with only three hits in a ball game, and we're, we're deep into this one right now, so unless something dramatically changes, he's just going to shut them down the rest of the way. He's been overpowered. There's a swing towards the hole, and Gross makes the play. A masterful performance out there today. They've not been able to get any sort of offense going, and I'll tell you what, he's going to make people notice this is an outstanding effort. Lansford in the batter's box. Well, he's bounced around to a lot of different positions, but last season, Alberto Cayasco found a home at third base. Must be a bit of a relief for him. Here's the first pitch. Oh, yes, wow. missed with the fastball, 1-0. And, and uh, what do you say about Cayasco's stability? Maybe that's going to lead to even greater success as he heads into another season. Well, you know what? He's a versatile guy and nothing spectacular, uh, but a guy that can help your team hit close to 300. And he can sit for a week or play for a week, and he's very good when he gets in there. Oh. Cutter just misses, and he runs it to 3-0. Trying to backdoor that cut fastball. Just trying to catch the outside corner. Couldn't quite get it. Lost in ball four. Potential time run is on. Well, he didn't want to lay it right down the middle, but he misses with this one low, and now he's walked him on four pitches. He's got to settle down. Now here's Vernon Wells. He starts him out. First pitch is a cutter that drops low. 1-0. This cut fastball is a very effective pitch for this guy because it allows him to set up all of his other pitches. A 1-0 pitch. Ooh, that looked pretty good. But he falls behind. 2-0. Well, Gary, the focus on this pitcher is that circle change. It's one of the best around, and great deception and great change of speed. Popped him up. Two retired here. As a manager, you sit back and watch this guy out there dealing like that. The pitching coach just says, hey, go get him, buddy. You've got it completely under control. Chris Lionetta at the plate. He bounced out his last time. Right, 
much as they'd like to get the tying run in scoring position, I doubt we see a steal right here. He just can't run. Too low on that one for a ball. 1-0. Ready with a 1-0. Swings and grounds this one foul wide of third. Here's the pitch. And that's taken outside for a ball two, one strike count. Swung on. That's going to be hit foul. Long fly ball left side. And he fouls off another one. Well, a lot of times the pitcher just throws a pitch that you can't do anything with. The only thing you can do, especially in a 2-2 count, is try to put it in play, foul it off to keep the at-bat going. Catcher can't control it. And the throw. And he easily gets second base. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. you got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed out. And Murphy's going to play it. That's caught. Side is retired. Probably talking a situation here, Steve, as we look at the bullpen. Two lefties up. Well, some lefties are better at getting right-handed hitters out. Some are better at getting lefties out. I think you keep it all options open to be able to shut down the big left-handed bats in his life. Well, they still can not buy a run. They've been held scoreless through eight. He's not letting this lead get away. We'll have the six, seven, and eight hitters coming up next. The bat for the Oakland and Gross is batting. He'll start us out here in the last inning of regulation. Curveball just misses 1 0. He's not very aggressive in this situation, Gary, so I think as a pitcher, you have to get in the zone right now. You don't want to go down 2 0. Sinker drops low. Two balls, no strikes. Wow, he had some good bite on that one right there, but the hitter wouldn't chase it. Ball. Looping curve dips low, 3 0. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. Strike and he one. watches the sinker all the way. Three and one. A pretty good pitch to hit right there. He takes it for a strike. Clearly, he didn't have the green light. Well, that's one way to get a base runner. They get one there and ball four. First base was open, so this pitcher really didn't feel any pressure to have to throw something over the plate and get burned. He'll go after the next guy. Catcher up to the plate. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. First pitch to him. Last ball runs inside, 1-0. Oh. The 1-0 oh now. 1-0 oh, oh is a fastball that runs away, 2-0. Oh. Here's the delivery. A liner headed for the hole. And he puts that one away, one down. When you play at third base, you have to expect the ball to get on you quickly. But I don't think anybody expects it to get on you that quickly. Now, Brandon Inge. One out, Matt on first. Here's the first pitch. Foul ball! Fouled away. Inge isn't fooled by that pitch. The count is evened up. Outside for a ball, and it's two and one. 
Well, it's a good spot to miss with that thing just off the corner. Up the middle. Whoa, get out of the way of that one. Straight back up the middle. Got one. And they turn the double play. And they're unable to make any noise here in this half inning. And we'll see the end. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crook and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Torrey Hunter flew out last time. There's a curveball that bounces to the plate. A swing and a foul off to the right side. Taps this one foul out to the left. And Torrey Hunter watches that one go by, evens it up. They just have not been able to mount any offensive opportunities in this one. I mean, two runners left on base. We're in the ninth inning here, so this has been all about pitching. Line towards third and foul. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. One away. Pressure continues to mount. Not a bad way to start the last inning. We've got a shutout going. You want to get the first guy. He's going to need every bit of that defensive support in the end. He's hitless thus far. He delivers. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Here's the pitch. Good patience as Kendry Morales lets that one go by for a ball. Count is even. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out. That two-seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. Good looking fastball. Called the ball though, two and one. The two one pitch. Oh. And now Kendry Morales. He's got a three ball, one strike count. Looks fastball. Try and drive one here. Uh, the pitcher right there got lucky that that ball stayed down in the zone. If that's up just a little bit higher, that ball could have been a souvenir. Now the 3-1 pitch. Oh! That one goes foul. That misses ball four. The potential tying run on base. Well, you just saw a great deal of plate discipline right there on the hitter. Maybe a little fatigue on the pitcher's part. They're not used to throwing that many pitches in one at bat, but the hitter wins it and gets that base on balls. Rich settling in. Struck out swinging his last time up. 0 for 3 to this point. Well, definitely going to have to hold the runner close at first base. He can run. And boy, if he gets to second base, he's in scoring oh position and could tie this one up. First pitch he let go by, and it uh, was a ball. 1-0. On the way. That's outside. Ball two. Oh, Cut ball in the dirt for a ball.
Takes a swipe on that pitch in the dirt. Not sure if he saw that. He lets that fastball go by. Called strike three and two. With the count full, he's not one to take this pitch. He likes to swing the bat. You've got to try to walk this guy. The 3-2 pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. It's scooped up. And there's one. And they get it. They turn two. A tough loss here for this crowd today. But boy, do they see some, some kind of pitching performance from the visiting team. And it's about time to award our player of the game, don't you think? Dallas Braden, an outstanding pitching performance today. But well, you couldn't have asked for a more dominant display on the mound than what we saw today. He was mixing his pitches while changing speeds, but the thing you noticed, he didn't throw any pitches over the center of the plate. That's what made it so special. And when he needed it, he could get back and reach back and get that little bit extra when he needed that big out. Made it look easy out there today, Gary. Well, you win, whether it's one or ten. This was the slimmest of margins, though. Well, this one had the makings right from the start of a close one, and you knew whoever got on the board had a legitimate chance to win it. So glad you could join us. For Steve Phillips and John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. We'll see you real soon.